welcome so like i promised last week i wanted to show you my process of baking a zine because it finally came in yesterday so i stayed up yesterday just packaging everything and filming everything for you guys um, and today i'm up editing and hoping to put it online in the same day for those of you that don't know i made a zine about hiking with my brother we go hiking every week in the Amsterdam Waterleiding Duinen, which will sound like gibberish when <laughs> you do not speak Dutch, um, but it's a dune forest near Amsterdam, basically. And a dune forest is just a forest with a lot of trees that grow on sand. So um, today we went again, actually, and we walked for 10 kilometers. So it's a little bit hard to walk on all the sand like after 10 kilometers i am pretty tired right now uh, but i just wanted to go for a hike with him again this week um, and the weather wasn't that great earlier this week and today it was beautiful it was warm and there were loads of deer outside it's the time of the year where all the deer make new baby deer so they were fighting and chasing each other so it was really fun to see well not the fighting but they're clashing their antlers together that was just very cool to see and i wanted to commemorate those hikes that i take with him every week in a zine it's my first zine ever so i had no idea what i was doing i learned a lot <laughs> that i will like i hope it will show in my next scenes but for this i just wrote down a story that i wanted to tell and then i set out to make the illustrations for that story and this deer that you see now, where you see the process from, that's actually going to be on the front of the zine. I painted this from a picture, because you can get really close to the deer. Um, so this was just a picture, it wasn't that far away, just a few steps. Uh, so I was able to get a good picture of the deer. Um, and I'm just trying to align the ground here. It was actually pretty fun making these illustrations. Like, obviously I love painting, but this way with the zine, it didn't have to be perfect because it was part of something bigger. Normally when I paint something, that painting has to speak everything I want it to. So there has to be a lot of effort in the painting and a lot of love. And for this, it is the whole zine that carries all the love. So I didn't have to give my best for each and every little illustration, which made it so much fun um, and made it something I really like to look back on. So here you see me just making little dots with the jelly roll pen. Everybody loves the jelly roll pen when you're on YouTube. Everybody recommends it. I do not. I just cannot get it to work. I have three different ones and they all have the same problems. That it's not white for the first five minutes that you try to write with it. Uh, and even after that it's not that reliable. And here you see me outlining it. Normally I do not outline any paintings because I want it to be very soft. Uh, but because it was on the zine, I wanted to be, I wanted to have it stand out a little bit more. And this deer was eventually the front. And I decided that I wanted to put my personal touch on every zine because I did order it for the printing. I didn't want it to be just a mass printed thing. And with mass printed, I meant 10, but still <laughs> I wanted to be to have every zine be unique. So eventually I stamped everything um, and put my own unique touch on every one of them. So you will see me doing that later. And here you see me just finishing this illustration. Okay, so we're at the stamping. I decided to stamp the front of every zine and the first page. So you can write down your name saying uh, this zine belongs to. And on the front I just stamped it with this cute stamp and later I wrote the title in every one of them. And they're pretty straight. I tried my best <laughs> to do it neatly. And I also stamped every envelope. And here you will just see the process of all that. So I will sit back, shut up for a little and let you enjoy.
So for the inside, I decided to use a different stamp. Just uh, so you have some more room to write your name or your address or whatever you want there. And like you can see, it's very chaotic the way I work. I like to think I'm organized, but seeing this and looking back on it, it's, uh, it's the opposite. I really liked stamping all these scenes and just making sure every one of them was unique. Eventually I ordered 12 of them, so I have 12 scenes. I have one for myself and one for my brother that I actually gave to him today while walking. Um, and the other 10 are in my Etsy shop right now. So here I'm just stamping all the envelopes because I want to handwrite the names from the people that ordered them on the envelope. And on the zines themselves I just write the, the title and that will be Hike Along. And on one of them, I actually wrote hike away just to have one, one special one because I like two titles and I couldn't choose. So here you go seeing me write it in real time and I will speed it up in a minute, but I just wanted to show how long it would take. Because normally when you see these sped up versions of everything, I feel like I'm so slow because this took me hours. And like you see, the lighting is off because it was late at night. Um, I wanted to film this process for you guys but I also wanted to have it in the shop as soon as possible um, so yeah it's it's very yellow lighting and here you see me just stamping all the envelopes and packaging all the zines and with every zine actually comes a sticker of an illustration that's in there as well and you can show that, see that here so it's a little deer painted with watercolors and I just packaged those up in a little paper bag Close it with washi tape and you will get that with every zine. And I wanted to do stickers with every zine I have. So next up I'm going to be working on a zine about apples and what to do with them. And I've designed super cute apple stickers for them. So I can't wait to show you guys those. Um, and I also want to work on a zine about mental health. And I worked on a block print for that. So a lino print. And I thought I would not give a sticker because it's mental health and maybe you don't want to be reminded about that everywhere you go just like this little cute deer so i wanted to make a print out of, out of that and i thought to add an original lino print to every every one of those scenes and the last thing i wanted to make a zine about was people that i see in my daily lives and just made up backstories for them because that's what my mind does anyway and i would love to write it all down and share the madness <laughs> So here you see me just stacking everything up, making everything ready and just showing you what's inside again. So the stickers are actually matte, they are very good quality and if you want to see a close up of what's in here and of the zine then you can go to my Instagram which is at denise.vandilla uh, for a close up and here the end of the video i will leave you guys with a little teaser of how the next one will look and i hope you like it so this is the one about apples thank you so much again for listening to me ramble on and watching this please subscribe and like and see you next time